first step is to run SFC scan so we will right click on start menu and we need to open command prompt or windows powershell in administrative privilege so click on powershell admin and click on yes for the USC prompt we will type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter it's going to take some time I'll pause this video here okay so SFC scan is complete uh, it says it didn't find any integrity violations if it finds any uh, it will fix them so our next command is the ism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup image space forward slash restore health I need to hit enter it will take a couple of minutes I'm gonna pause the video here okay so the one so once the test is done and the files are repaired uh, we need to restart the computer and we will try installing uh, AMD drivers again uh, we shouldn't be getting any problems after this so we're gonna update and restart uh, we'll try to install uh, AMD drivers again so if you still um, if you're still getting any issue the next method is to check the default location of the system folders let's open Explorer and under this PC you will see uh, default system folders which are desktop documents downloads music picture and videos so one by one we're going to open properties of each folder and we need to check location so make sure it is the default location of each folder if you're not sure about the default location just click on restore default and then click on apply and ok we will repeat this process for all the system folders so we are uh, on document folder properties we go to location restore it apply and ok same goes for the download folder location restore default apply and ok changing the default location or restoring the default location for videos, music, pictures, it might not be necessary but uh, let's try these and now we will try installing AMB drivers and see if it works if it still fails and you get to any issue uh, we will try another method uh, now the third method we have is to clean install the drivers at first we're going to download latest AMD drivers here's a link it is given in the video description let me copy the link again um, here's a link So from here you can download the latest AMD drivers and then uh, we will need a utility which is AMD clean uninstall utility. Here's the link. Let me AMD clean uninstall utility. download from here I'm going to keep it 
just right click on it and click on run anyway so this utility will clean uninstall your previous AMD drivers once done uh, use the drivers that you have downloaded recently and see if that fix your issue let's close this out now we have an alternative method which can uninstall the display drivers if you're not not successful with the previous step you can go to the link this link is also given in the description like we need to use a different browser okay I'm gonna spin up Firefox the link is given in this description save this uh, display driver uh, uninstaller utility once, uh, once it is downloaded we need to restart Windows in safe mode and then we need to follow the prompts to remove the driver from your computer once your driver is removed try installing the driver again and see if that helps we have also seen some users uh, saying that after disabling the uh, antivirus program there uh, they were able to install AMD driver so uh, the first step is to try disabling your antivirus program and then try installing the and uh, the uh, AMD drivers <coughs> and next we have an option to delete AMD installation folder sometimes few files are conflicting and that might um, cause some hindrance in installing your latest AMD drivers so we need to open Explorer go to C if you see a folder named AMD here just remove this folder you might need admin privileges to delete the folder once the folder is deleted try installing the drivers again if that doesn't help then we need to update windows click on start menu search for update let's say windows update check for updates we need to make sure that we have latest visual C++ redistributable installed uh, so we will just uh, check for the latest updates once it finds any update we will uh, install all of them and then we'll restart our computer this sure will help us to install latest AMD drivers I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.